Good evening, ladies and germs. We have the newest coffin box brought to you by the good folks at Horror Pack in Rue Morgue. If you don't know what it is, it's a bi monthly subscription box of all things horror. Uh, uh, you get a movie, a latest issue of Rue Morgue, which is a bi monthly magazine, and a t shirt, and then one or two other goodies that have to deal with the wonderful world of horror movies and, and whatnot. So, uh, this is the September box we just got it. today. I want to say I remember seeing something about there was a, a snafu with the printing process for the movie this month or this package. And I think they, instead of delaying it, they replaced it with some other items and you're supposed to get two movies next month. Don't quote me on that. I thought I read it, but I was just trying to look it up on their Facebook page and couldn't find it again. So... We'll see what happens when we get in here. I did see there is some cool uh, uh, special edition, first edition Irish or something for the t-shirt. So I'm excited to see what's in that. So let's open it up and see what we have. Right on top is our lovely issue of Rumorg. It's a nice, it's a new binding. It's not stapled. It's actually a glued binding. Nice and thick. We got on uh, here this month, Night of the Living Dead, the final word. Assassination Nation, The Witch's Dungeon. I do rather enjoy Rue Morgue. It's probably one of the better, if not the best, horror publication out there. If you like something else other than uh, Rue Morgue, I know there's Fangora, Rue Morgue, and a couple other ones that I've kind of dipped into, but I typically have enjoyed Rue Morgue the most. So, as always, I'll enjoy flipping through there and seeing what we have in the world of horror. So, what do we have next? We have a nice little picture. It's the, the Super Ghoul. I just saw something about this on Facebook. I am completely unfamiliar with the Super Ghoul, so you should definitely check it out. It's uh, thesuperghoul.com on here, and I heard that it's their signature. It's a lovely picture of Jason and Mike Myers enjoying a shake at the drive-in. I would suspect that's probably going to go in my in my cube at work and hang up and then people can ask me about what the heck is that. Just a crazy guy who likes horror movies. Cameo Creeps is the next thing. It's an exclusive signed print. It looks to me, yes, the great Cthulius Old Vaughn by the Cameo Creepster. It, to me, looks like it's a little headshot of Cthulhu that reminds me of uh, Vlad the Impaler, almost, which is a combination of two good things. It's got a seal on it. It's got a, a good signature on it. That's right, we're supposed to get two signed goodies this month, so this is our other thing. So that is definitely cool. I will most likely hang this up in my cube at work and add it to my kind of collection of ever-growing horror goodies at my cube. All right, next, here's a t-shirt. It is Dracul. It is a print of Dracula. Like they said, it's some uh, special edition print. There's some writing here on the bottom. Let's check it out. Officially licensed by the Bram Stoker Estate. It's pretty official. It's pretty, pretty big. I do rather like this shirt. It's it's simple print, but sometimes you know what simple is better. I will most likely uh, cut the sleeves off because I never have sleeves on in my t-shirts. Like even right now, I've got long sleeves on, but I've got this cut off because I hate sleeves. But it's getting colder, so I digress and have to wear sleeves. But I get a little bit of, of, of both worlds. So we have that. So we do have a movie in here. It's one I've heard of. I have not watched it yet. It's The Exorcism of Molly Hartley. It's the unrated version. I've seen this on, uh, I don't know if it's Netflix. I just recently saw this on, uh, what's that service? Uh, Tdo, I think. It's a new streaming, not a new streaming service. It's a new, stream new streaming service to me that I recently found that has a pretty decent list of uh, hard to find horror movies. Like today I watched Chud 2, Bud to the Chud. It's pretty bad, but... What can you do about cheesy 80 horror movies? Except love them. Anyway, that's cool. That is awesome. 
Like I said, I have not watched this. I've seen it. It's been on my list of movies to watch. So this might give me a, a better reason to watch now that I own it. So I do like exorcism and uh, demonic possession movies. Uh, those movies typically are the ones that kind of will scare me a little bit more. More so than your typical monster movies or whatever. Because I know kind of desensitized to a lot of the monster, the gore, and everything else. But to me, demonic possession is almost like a real thing. I kind of believe in that. So that kind of stuff does kind of creep me out. And The Exorcist is probably the only movie I won't own because that scares the ever-living shit out of me because I, I truly believe in that sort of thing and I think that could be real. Anyway, moving along, we have our last item. It is an action figure from The Twilight Zone. It's episode 43, Nick of Time. I don't remember this episode. That's awesome to have a bunch of action figures for The Twilight Zone. I have recently started watching Twilight Zone, you know, late at night in bed when I'm trying to fall asleep. So, this is something that's pretty sweet. It will definitely go in my collection. Just, I'm unfamiliar with this. It has a devil head. You know, it looks like a, a box that you put a penny in. Ask me a yes or no question. Kind of looks like Bill Shatner, but I don't think that's him. See, is there any, but any characters are recognized from the back on this? We've got the gremlin, of course, from the plane episode, and the doctor from the uh, the pig face and the nurse with it. Oh, and then there's the bandaged patient from that same episode. Santa Claus, Major. It's been many years since I've watched The Twilight Zone, but this is the character Don Carter. Uh, Twilight Zone's kind of where it's at. There's a lot of good stuff in the Twilight Zone. You got a good picture of that. It's just a little action figure with the uh, little yes or no box with Don Carter. Like I said, it kind of looks like Bill Shatner, but I don't think it, it might. I would have to look it up. I'm unfamiliar with that episode. I've never seen it. I really, really only remember the Gremlin episode and the, the pig face people right off the top of my head. And there's been some other ones that I've watched, but I just I don't remember the details. It's been so many years since I've watched the 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 Twilight Zone, but I think maybe this gives me more reason to go back and check some of those episodes out again. So again, this is a bi-monthly subscription box from the good folks at Horror Pack and Room Org, and I think they do a fantastic job with this subscription box. It's always got good stuff. Now that it's starting to get some signature based things, that's always where it's like the really hardcore collectors that like sign stuff. I like sign stuff. I've got a, in my Qubit work I have a signed picture of Kane Hodder as Jason and Terry Farrell from Hellraiser 3. So I mean stuff like this is definitely up my alley. It's definitely keeping my interest, keeping me wanting to resubscribe each month. I think you guys should definitely give it a, a shot. I think it's 25 bucks every, you know, bi-monthly, so every two months. Can't go wrong. You definitely, definitely get your money's worth. So, uh, with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Any questions, horror related, shoot them my way. We'll see what I can do about them. Uh, until then, keep on watching horror movies. It's October now.